I hear it. I hear a song. Is that it? Hey everyone, how are you? Yeah, I got the phone. Did you miss us? We were gone for a couple of, about a month. <laughs> yeah. We went to Russia. Not even close. <laughs> Um, if the camera moves around, it's because our cat is attacking the tripod. Why does she do that? Because. Anyway, that amazing little song, that but little ditty. Is, but that's because. It was from Donna Britton Bukovic and Russ Ornstein, and it is in our movie, Turnover. Donna is so amazing. This is what she does. She's like, oh, can I read your new script? So I give her my script, and then she had it flying hairs around my head anyway and <laughs> so then she's like <laughs> oh my god you are <laughs> i need to like go rinse my hair down like because they're like flying out see like on the side there's okay. little flying things where is my squirrel, squirrel. anyway squirrel. so donna wanted to read the script and then she came up with this <sighs> great idea and wrote us this little ditty like before we even did the movie and it was so amazing and we love it it was in our promo stuff and now it's one of our oscar What's contender songs show name? What? it's wine food and fun with linda and mark and why mark, don't we have any wine because you haven't opened it yet i am going to open the wine now today we're making our super yummy, hi Lenora. We're making our super yummy what, what? creamy mashed potatoes. Creamy garlic mashed potatoes. Okay, no, it's creamy garlic with potato. That is true. In fact, I forgot the cream. I'll be right back. We are going to use a, we're making it fattening, heavy cream. Oh, yummy. But anyway, back to the show. Where's our wine, Mark? Right now we are having a little Le Crema, one of our favorites for all of you that watch us on a regular basis. We love this. It's a very nice Chardonnay for a hot day. And it's warm here. Oh, by the way, we are taking a trip soon for the Father's Day weekend to see our good friends, Mark and Ray. And guess how hot it's going to be. On our trip up, on our Harley, We're, we will tell you that by the end of the show. But I want guesses. How hot is our trip going to be up in Central California? <laughs> Hi, wine. Susan. Yes, Susan. we're drinking wine for all of our a friends. To all you Susan guys. said the wine will break down the fats. Break down the fats? Fats. Thank you, Lenora. She likes my little pigtails. Even though they're, I got flyaways, whatever. Anyway, so I wanted to show you something real quick. So we're making these creamy mashed potatoes. Oh, Mark, get out the garlic. garlic. We've been cooking. No, we'll oh. get it out in a second. Forget that. Forget I said that. Right now, Mark has prepped the barbecue. We have three potential things we can have as a main dish. Yeah, we're we not have, making mashed potatoes on the barbecue. No, we have salmon with uh, Mark's special spice, Mark Davis. We have a nice little steak, Mark likes a little one, with a smokehouse maple and salt. And then we have this chicken with this new fajita rub that is beyond amazing. But the main what? star of the show is the potato. And garlic. the garlic. Ooh. Nothing makes the potato taste amazing and other than the garlic. Well, there's actually this. Don't be chintz it out by using, you know, garlic crushed garlic or... No, uh, you have to have fresh garlic. garlic. But uh, this, I don't know, who has this in their pantry? Garlic pepper. You keep doing this. You're garlic. crazy. No, I'm trying to make it so people can see. What? The thing about garlic pepper, I, see, I have... Stuff hardly like it's hard to find and but it is the best spice i use on everything like right i will just put it on my salmon See? and bake it and it is the most amazing salmon it's right here lenora has garlic pepper anyway and we need butter you cannot make potatoes without a sufficient amount of butter <laughs> not margarine so we've already started prepping our potatoes mark is over here 
Um, the potatoes have been cooking, so you don't have to sit there and just watch us watch potatoes for and, like 30 and we minutes. Have our helper. No, no, no. Oh, we have a helper. Hi, helper. Look at everybody. She likes to come visit us in the kitchen. Say hi, Callie. Callie. Come here, Callie. <sighs> She's being annoying. Anyway, so Mark has this handy little thing. Put a wooden spoon and it keeps your potatoes from boiling over. So they are actually almost done. So I think what we should do is prepare the garlic, Mark. Prepare the garlic. Yes, yeah, so you have your garlic head here. Garlic head, full. Like, I don't know how many cloves is in this. That's just, that's Who can guess how many cloves are in? No, don't take it out yet. Um, how many cloves are actually in a little garlic head? Just put it in our comments below. Now, Mark got this super okay. fancy knife. What? With a knife. For Father's Day. Isn't that nice? He actually went out, he did a little research, and can you tell it's like, it's got that nice it's, texture. It's Japanese. Uh, okay, this I, totally is sideshow. Remember, and I mean sideshow, remember that guy that was in court for news, and like he like freaked out because he was gonna like go to jail, and so he had some sort of handmade knife, and he slit his throat. What is this? This is news. I'm just letting people know about the news. You just watch different news. <laughs> don't watch Fox News so much. I don't watch Fox News at all. Anyway, this is a super cool knife. Mark, show them what happens with the garlic situation. You don't need your glove on. No I gloves. You the garlic out. No, you got to prepare one oh, to put in. Okay, so we're gonna. It's the fake, garlic preparation. We're gonna fake prepare it. Yes. Because we have one cooking, so it'll be ready, but... Wait, so you cut the, the top off. off. You the cut nipple. the top off. Now, which one's the top? Right here. The little the piece nipple. on the top. Little garlic boobies? Everything's a booby to mark. No, more than that, you need to cut it down here. You need all the um, gar garlic cloves to be exposed once you cut it off. Oh. So see what's going to happen here? We have this nice garlic that's exposed. Oh, that's really aromatic. It smells like garlic. It smells like garlic. So now what Mark's gonna do is get some olive oil. Dion's like, howdy, Cardonis. <laughs> Dion, we're making roasted garlic. Okay, so you're gonna put this on your aluminum foil. Or if you have one of those garlic uh, clove cookers, you can put it in that too. But, but we don't, so we're not we going to do that. <laughs> so we're going to cheat. Lenore is like, vampire, where are you? There's no vampires within Oh my miles. gosh, that's a lot. Just drizzle, drizzle. I'm, I'm drizzling, I'm drizzling. That's a pretty good drizzle, Mark. I think Maybe that's a little, good. A little splooge. Splooge. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wrap up your garlic clove, put your oil back. So this is a little, you wrap it up like this and now get out the other one that's been cooking, Mark. I thought you said to put the oil back. Now my hands are all white. Oh. Mark is going to get out. The roasted garlic that's been cooking for, it's been cooking for about 45 minutes. So what you need to do is cook it on 400 for 45 minutes, and then it gets to be really soft. Hi, Keisha. It's bowling. Keisha guessed 11. How many were in there? Huh? How many were in there? There's only one. So you have to take that. No, no, that's the raw one. That's the raw one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, we need the whole thing. So okay. put the raw one on there and take this one off. Put that one back in the uh, back in the oven. Back in the oven at 400 degrees. We're cooking that little for later because we can have like that roasted garlic on bread or anything. It's super yummy. So uh, timer 45 minutes. Yeah. 
Zero on there. Hi, Kitty. What are you doing? Kitty, do you want to say hi? Um, hello. Why are you on the counter? Oh, we need to have a drink of wine. <laughs> Pour my wine. Hello. Wine. Ah, my wine. To wine. To our friends. To toast. The pest is bothering. So, Keisha, I forgot what I asked everyone to guess on. How many she guessed clubs? 11. Oh, clubs, you're right. That's what it was. Jeez. Thanks for the reminder, Mark. So how many? Oh, open this one up. Keisha says 9 and 11. 9 and 11. Yeah, she was going to go with the 9, the 9 first, but then she said 11. So what does it look like? Oh, my gosh. That looks amazing. Look at that. Yummy little yeah. roasted garlic. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Wow. 16 ah. is the magic answer. It is so aromatic in here. But before we do this, like squishing it out, we're going to put the stuff on the barbecue. Oh, okay. I'll go. Mark is going to. No, no, no. I'm going to go out. I'm going to show them, Mark, how you do that. Do you have your steak grabber? I don't. These are really, um, what is it? What's the word? Look at our cat. She's totally like dead. I miss hanging out. There it is, steak grabber. Finally. Steak grabber. We're taking the chickens and the meat and everything oh, wow. out. And we're not eating all this in case you're all wondering, like, why are they having so much chicken, salmon, and steak? I can't fit out here. Alina's watching. Hi, Alina. So, Mark is going to be putting the stuff on the grill, which he's got all hot and ready to go. It's going to be yummy. What are you doing, Mark? Starting a fire. Why are you starting a fire? Because. Should I call the fire department? No. No. Oh, all righty. Oh, pyrotechnics. There's always a show over here. <laughs> here, so chickens first. Chickens first go on the grill with the nice marinade on them. Now I did cut these chickens in half so that they would cook a little bit faster than they normally do. Yeah. And then we have our steak, which Mark's steak is gonna go on the grill. And my salmon goes on the top. Here comes the salmon. But by the way, if you guys don't know how to cook salmon or any kind of fish, take a little aluminum boat like this, cut up some lemons, float it on the lemons, then you don't have to turn it. Right. So we'll go back in. Hi, little Callie. Do you want to say hi to our friends? All right. So here we are back in the kitchen. Oh, I think that our potatoes are probably done. So I'm going to double check by taking a fork and stabbing them. Oh, they are done. They're done. So Mark, do you want to take those uh, and drain them? I need three minutes on here somewhere. Oh, so here, I know how to work this timer. I go timer and I go three minutes and I go start. There, Mark has a timer. I'm good for something. Mark is draining out potatoes. Let's see what that's gonna be like. Hot. Ooh, hot, hot, hot. You wanna put it back in the pan. There we go. Now the magic is gonna start. The magic truly is starting here. Cause we have to deal with this little garlic clove, which is happening right here. And it's, it's still a little warm, so I did that, but Mark, you need to get a, a little um, napkin, because he's going to lift it up with a napkin. This is so confusing. Where's my wine? I don't know. Over there. I don't know why it's confusing. You're just taking your little napkin, because you can't grab the garlic like it is. And watch this. You want to grab it from the bottom, so you turn it over. And you grab from the bottom and you squish them out. You squish them. Oh, see how they're squishing out? I don't want to say what that looks like because I don't want to gross anyone out. <laughs> but see, now, if I had said that, if I had said that, she would have been. No, like, but look at. See, I squished almost oh, all of them out. And so now I'm going to just get the extra because we don't want to leave any in there. Like there's some good extra garlic. We're just going to 
put that. We're gonna make sure we get all the yummy garlic out of it. I'll get, I'll get the yummy garlic. Yeah, it, it's gone. That's, You're, that's you. It. You got garlic on my hand. So now with our garlic, you squish it. You just squish it. And this is like, by the way, if you have some uh, toasted uh, ciabatta bread or oh. whatnot, just spread, hi, Shelly. Shelly's watching us. Spread a little of this on there, like peanut butter. Oh my God! This is the yeah. this is the yummiest the, the thing. With that is, Look is everybody has to have some because everyone's got to eat the garlic. So see how it gets real squishy. So That's first like things first, garlic paste. Put that in the potatoes, Mark. Just put that all in the potatoes. This is gonna make garlic, especially roasted garlic, makes everything taste like you're a gourmet chef. And you all want to impress your friends and family when you have people over. This will impress the heck out of them. Or if you're from Arkansas, it's gourmet. Whatever. All right, so now, Wine. No, you need a little cream. Oh, butter first. You need a little butter. Don't use the garlic thing. Here, use this. <laughs> now, put about three tablespoons in, Mark. That's two, three tablespoons. Oh, you gotta go change the... You dump the... Yeah, I'll put butter. the butter in because Mark's gotta take care of the... Meat. So I'm taking about three tablespoons of butter. I'm gonna stick it right in there. I'm also gonna ch I'm also gonna like come over here and set a new timer so it doesn't keep beeping and annoying all of us. So timer, three minutes start. Good, we're all set. This is a two-person job, this whole cooking thing. So oh my secret spice, which is garlic pepper. I sprinkle that in there. As if we don't have enough garlic. <laughs> I know, right? You can never have enough garlic. Then you want to open up your cream, heavy cream. And as I do this, we're just going to pour a little bit in, see what looks good. Oh, I think that looks good. I don't know how much that was. And Mark, you're going to mash them. Oh, or mash them. Masher. I got the masher. Oh, yeah, Mark's sure. going to mash them. Mash them, Mark. Make these potatoes super creamy and mashed up. Probably with our garlic. Either a little wine or a little more uh, cream. Cream. Well, first you got it like you got to work it in there. Put some muscle in it. Crappy guys. Totally smells like garlic. I know it's super yummy. But get it all mixed in because there's some like juice on the yeah, side. I know. I don't think you need any more. It'll make it too runny. All right. See how nice that is? So our meat is actually going to take maybe, what, 12 minutes? Oh, I didn't put the timer on. No, I did. I put oh. the timer on. Um, nine, nine minutes maybe. The chicken we're not having tonight, so we've cooked that a little bit longer. The but chicken is it? Oh, but look at these potatoes. Oh, my gosh. These potatoes. There's a bunch of garlic right here, like on the edge. You have to mash that in. You got to mix it all up, spin it around. Spin it around. Now, spin you it could, around, Mark. You could, you could use this for twice baked potatoes. Right now, you could just take a big old glop of this, put it in a, in one of those ceramic potato thingies. And then, what are you going to do with it? Then you're going to stick it in the oven after you coat the top of it with Parmesan cheese. Right. And just right. cook it enough. To get that cheese nice and now before brown. we because this was just about the potato i have to show you guys how creamy this potato mixture is it's amazingly creamy soft now mark we have to have one little taste mark gets to taste it so you guys can see the reaction to the potato and then we'll have our dinner with it but what do you think mm. what does it need anything salt 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 Oh, really? Yeah. So here, salt it. Put a little... Got to have salt. Handy yeah. and available. Hmm. So Mark's going to salt it a little bit. I'm going to salt it a lot. That actually... Okay. Alrighty. And then we will 
mix it back up. Oh, that's your other um, timer, Mark. Okay. So we're gonna mix our potatoes now that we've salted them. Because the garlic pepper doesn't really have salt in it, so that's why Mark would have needed that. Now we do another three minutes on the grilling situation. So, off, timer, three, start. I'm just gonna like do a taste test without Mark knowing. That is so yummy. Mm. 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 Really yummy. Wow. I can't tell you. That roasted garlic, when you add that in, that changes the meal completely. Mark, what? come say say la vie, sayonara, what? goodbye to our friends. We're signing off? Yeah. How can we be signing off? Because I just tasted it. We, it's, this is about the potato. It's the side dish. I thought you were a side dish. I am Mark's side dish. <laughs> <laughs> My hair's all messed up. Here, let me... Not as messed up as my hair. We have messed up hair today. We obviously didn't prepare for this. <laughs> anyway, have fun tonight, guys. Enjoy whatever you're having. And if you like these mashed potatoes, they're so yummy. They're really good. Really good. Bye, everyone.